Hi YouTube, how are you? Hi YouTube, how you doing? I don't know how I'm doing. First of all, if you're new here, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's just pushing a button. I'm like a little crazy. I'm decided not to get dressed today. I just don't want to. But anyway, I come to talk to you guys. If you guys have been following my channel. Now that I've been waiting on my babies. I always talk about my babies because that's where I'm at. So I talked to the supervisor. Yeah, she said that they are going to start the home visits with dad. We have to do our home visits different. So I'm going to have to go to my daughter's house to do my home visit. But they're going to start with dad first. So the kids should be coming home this week, which I talked to my social worker yesterday. And this lady is, is really starting to get to me like i would like to i would try to be like respectful to her if you know play with her a little bit you know but i'm always dead serious about when i know the rights that we have to see in our kids and when things are not going how they should go or i feel a certain way about things i will let her know but i always try to be respectful so this lady um she called rick the father of my kids and she told him that um the kids will be coming this week all she would ask is that he wears a mask and due to coronavirus, he don't, that she don't want people at the house. And and I can't be here because the visits have to be done separately to see how the kids react with me and react with dad. Okay, I get it. Whatever. At least the process will be started up that the home visits is the only thing that's keeping the kids from coming home for good. Because you have to have it documented how that's going how they're getting along with that, how they're feeling in the house, you know, and then they'll talk about it. And then when we go back to court, so which we go May 13th, but I want, she wanted to stretch it a little longer to do the home visits. Now the home visits would have been done if it wasn't for the coronavirus, but even a month before that, we were supposed to do the home visits and everything was going to be, I would be here. I'll be picking the kids up. I'll be dropping them back off. <sighs> they didn't do a whole stretch of room. But this is where God gives me strength, patience, and understanding and wisdom. Patience, he gives me. He gives me the, not the flip out. <laughs> the old drunk would have flipped. <laughs> I would have been in anger management. But anyway, um, so yesterday she says, um, well, she's working on calling the foster parents to get the visit started. What is there to work on? All you have to do is pick up the phone and say, get Emily and Ellie ready. Um, They're going for a visit with their dad and then call Audrey and tell Audrey to get Ethan ready. They're going to visit with dad. What is there to work on? All you got to do is pick the phone up and call. This lady is starting to get to me so bad. It's like she's dragging her feet and she's really lazy. She want to blame everything on the coronavirus. But if your supervisors called me and told me that they're going to start a visit with dad, to at least get the process started up. So when we do go back to court after May, the kids can go ahead and be rejudification and come home. Because that's the main step. This is the last step. So what are you waiting on? What is there to work on by picking up a phone? She came to see me yesterday and talk to me. So you could come see me all in my face and ask me the same stuff you've been asking me, which is fine. If I'm doing something to get my kids back, it gives me strength and make me feel like I'm still fighting. I'm happy she came to see me and everything's still good. But if all you have to do is pick up that phone, ladies, then why aren't you picking up that phone and calling? It's Wednesday. What are you waiting for? Y'all ought to win and build dad feelings and, and, and build him all up and, and made him so happy just to say, well, you're working on calling him. Girl, if you don't pick up that phone and press that button and say, get my kids ready, I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, I'm not going to be able to be here and I'm really sad about it. But at the same time, I'm so grateful for it because at least my kids can still come home to their home. They can be in their own rooms. They can go in their own refrigerator. They can feel their dad's love. They can hug their dad. I'm going to be on Duo or Zoom, so I'll still be able to see them. But I really, they didn't tell me it was going to go this way until the last minute. But you know what? Everything works according to God's plan. And if this is how God wants it to go, then it's for the greater good. But I feel... I felt really sad yesterday about it, and I wasn't really, really too nice with her. I, went, I won't say I wasn't too nice with her. I'll just say I was very stern, <clears throat> and I got to the point. So, I don't know if they're going to call and do a Zoom visit today, because that's on Wednesdays from 11 to 11.40. 
I just don't know, y'all. All I know, if I keep doing what I've been doing, which is staying clean and sober, not drinking, doing the next right thing, then they will be home. But it's very sad. I mean, I was so anxious. I didn't got their rooms ready. I didn't went around the house decorating more stuff, trying to put more stuff and see what I can do to make their little eyes and heart light up when they come in. And I wanted to be here to experience that and to see that. I want to hold them so bad, y'all. I can't breathe. I want to kiss them and I want to smell them. But, like I said, at least they'll be home and they'll enjoy it. And I'll have to be on Zoom or Duo to get a chance to see how they react. And I will have that tape it for y'all because there's so many people that's been praying for me. Praying with me and following my story for months, seven months. I almost got seven months clean and sober, y'all. Ah, oh, Miss Wilson is going. Um, yeah, and I have Instagram. It's Laquetta. 544 so you can go on Instagram I'm only it's pretty much me on there with pictures and stuff like that I'm not really know how to do that stuff but I'm trying to reach people to watch my YouTube channel so I can help God save lives and, and the struggle is real it ain't just about hair and makeup and fashion and pranks and I mean people go through real life things out here and I'm one of them and I might be pretty but I still have a story to tell and I don't want to just be look like people looking at me and like yeah I want to lose weight I'm working on my weight loss and it's going to be pretty good but still like I don't know y'all I just came out here to talk to y'all real briefly life is good I'm still clean and sober. That's the biggest thing. <coughs> I don't got no corona. I heard my church is opening back up. So that's amazing. I hope that it's true because I will be in service on Sunday with my mask on, with my hands and that's how I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait. Miss Wilson, now you've been watching me forever. Tell me if I'm losing weight on my funny little white girl body. Hmm. What do y'all think? I think I am. If not, I don't know. I know my scale ain't moving nowhere. <laughs> I moved two pounds. But something's happening because, ooh. If y'all remember my try on haul video I did from um, Forever 21, it was a black shirt. I couldn't even get my arm in. Someone told me to try that shirt on yesterday, and that shirt went all the way on me. I was like, get, I ran upstairs and told my husband, like, honey, I can fit my shirt now. <laughs> he was like, yay, but he's so busy looking at me. He always staring at me like some kind of perv. Anyway, life is still good. I still feel amazing. I still feel blessed. I still feel free. I should, I was dead on the concrete, on the ground, had to be Narcan back to life. So I can never, ever get to the point where it's just like oh, giving up. That was truly amazing what God did for me. And I act like it and I present and carry myself like it every day that I'm alive and well. And the spirit lives within me. And I'm truly happy. But it's going to end soon. As soon as they can get here, my kids can get here and start them home visits. When we do go back to court, which probably be in another 60 days, it can be resolved. Because there is nothing else that they need to hold over our heads. I mean, our case plan has been done for oh over 10 months they said we had domestic violence history man i get it but there are people starving their kids beating poor babies and getting them back and, but i can't do that i ain't gonna do that my god is good to me and my kids so he gonna make sure we all the way good before he bring them babies back home and they have to be traumatized and be took out again thank you god i'm not gonna do that but i just want my kids home so i can show them the mommy that god made all over again everybody else is getting a chance to see it i want my my duke duke my ethan my emily my ellie pie to see it I'm really anxious. I'm really excited. But it's going. It's almost over, y'all. I know I always say that. That's my word. It's almost over. So, coronavirus. Why did I walk into a hair store the other day? It was open. My mouth dropped. I couldn't even, I didn't even know what I was in there for. I forgot. I was so excited it was open. Oh, my God. So, I did grab two wigs. They were on sale for $20. And that was my Mother's Day money that my husband had put up. So I was like, okay, because I was going to order offline. But then people were telling me we order hair offline because I really want some good, good hair. I'm like, why do you keep buying these little wigs trying to work them out when you could just buy the ones that's pre-plucked? Um, natural edges. And I want it real bad. And they got on Instagram, but I want to get one free. And I swear, but people be scaring me saying, when you buy it, and I'm broke. I can't afford to lose money. When you buy it, it might not be the same wig. <laughs> 
This ain't one of them though. This is my house wig. But um yeah, it was open and I went in Shoppers World. It, they said they had been open through the whole pandemic, but I was under the um especially that they wasn't open. But I went there and got Ethan a pillow for his bed. Some more pillows for his bed so I can make sure his room looks just as good as the girls' rooms do. So all his room is on point now. My son Aaron went to my aunt's house, so I really got a chance to go out there and wipe down the walls and wipe off the TV. Use some Febreze, remake the bed, hang up some more stuff. So I won't be here to see that reaction, but they'll be reacting and their reaction will be happy. So I'm happy about that. Um other than that, y'all, that's my life in a nutshell. Hopefully, I can go to church Sunday. But as long as they start coming home, it'll make it easier to get to the next court date. From this one to the next one. I wish the judge would say, in the name of Jesus, let's get their kids back. But hopefully, we do a Zoom visit today. And I ain't doing no makeup. Look at my nails, y'all. This is disgusting. I can't find my ring. <laughs> I know. Anyway, I don't have nothing to talk about. I just want my kids. I always want my kids. I just have to wait and breathe. And then I'll be worried about something else. Cause I'm a worry bar a worry worm. I'm a worry warrior. I worry about everything, but I get things done. What is that sign? I guess it's on the TV. Well, at least the corona is ending or mm, still stay safe. Day six feet apart. Wash your hands. Wash your, wash your, wash your hands. And um, I don't know. With that, I guess I'll just go. I haven't seen. I went to go see my parents. I saw my sister. That was so nice. Um, see my baby Mandy yesterday. My pregnant daughter. I seen my granddaughter yesterday. Um, talk to that dumb social worker. Hopefully we'll hear something. When dad wakes up, he's going to call the supervisor and, and get this rolling. Because you, you got to call. You got to keep calling people. If you can show up, show up. Because they ain't going to do nothing. You got to do all your own work when you want something to go right. All right, guys. So if you're new here, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm stuck at 137 subscribers. I've been on here for seven months. Y'all better get with it. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.